Hello, today I'm going to talk about the greatest common divisor of polynomials. At the first, I would like to introduce what is greatest common divisor of integers. Greatest common divisor of two or more integers, which are not all zero, is the largest positive integer that divides each of the integers. Assume that we have 9 and 15 these two integers. We can see that 9 and 15 have the same factor which is 3. So the GCD of these two integers is 3. And how about the greatest common divisor of polynomials? Greatest common divisor of two polynomials is a polynomial of the highest possible degree that is a factor of both the two original polynomials. This concept is similar to the greatest common divisor of integers. And how can we find out the greatest common divisor of polynomials? Actually, we, we use the Euclidean algorithm to find out the answer. Euclidean algorithm is a method which works for any pair of polynomials. Here is the first example for this topic. From this example, we can see that the degree of fx is greater than the degree of 3x. So the fx will be the dividend and 3x will be the divisor. When doing the long division, the very first thing we want to do is make sure we have the correct setup. Note that if we have any missing term, we have to replace that place by zero. We can see that the polynomial of fx miss a square terms. So when we're doing the long division, we have to add a zero in the square terms. When fx is divided by gx and the remainder is zero, then gx will be the greatest common divisor. Let me start to show you the long division. fx will be the dividend and gx will be the divisor. Remember to add a zero in the x square terms. Since the degree of gx and fx are not same, we have to multiply a x to make them into the same degree. And we get x to the power of 4 plus x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x. Remember that we have to use this polynomial to subtract this polynomial. So 1 minus 1, we get nothing. 3 minus 1, we get 2x cubed. 0 minus negative 5, we get 5x squared. Negative 1 minus 3, we get minus 4x. Negative 3 minus nothing, we get negative 3. After this, we can see that the x cubed, the coefficient of x cubed is 2, and this is 1. So we have to multiply a 2 to make them into same. And we get 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 10x plus 6. 2 minus 2, we get 0. 5 minus 2, we get 3x squared. Negative 4 minus negative 10, we get 6x. And negative 3 minus 6, we get negative 9. Finally, we get our remainder. Since this remainder is not 0, so we have to do the second long division. For the second long division, gx will be the dividend and the remainder will be the divisor. We can take out the, for this remainder, we can take out the 3. This will help us more easier to do the second long divisions. And this remainder will equal to 3 multiply x squared plus 2x minus 3 and this will be and this will be the divisor of our second long division now i will show the second long division the dividend will the gx will be the dividend and the previous remainder will be the divisor and we can see that this is x cubed and this is x squared so we have to multiply the x to make them into the same degree. We get x squared plus x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x. 1 minus 1, we get 
zero. One minus two we get negative x squared. Um, and negative five minus negative three we get negative two x. And three minus zero we get three. Now we can see that this is positive x squared and this is negative x squared. So we just have to multiply a negative one. And we will get negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. Minus 1 plus 1, we get 0. Minus 2 plus 2, we get 0. And, minus, and 3 minus 3, we also get 0. So the remainder is 0. And finally, we get the 0 remainder. So the GCD will equal to the equal to the divisor of the last long division we do. So the, div so the GCD will equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. Here is my answer. Now I would like to show you the second way to find out the GCD without doing 2 times long division. For this method, I will create two columns. I will put the coefficient of fx into this column and put the coefficient of gx into this column. Remember that we, ha we have to replace the missing term by 0. So for this column, we have 1, 3, 0, minus 1, and minus 3. And for the second column, we have 1, 1, minus 5, and, th and 3. Now we can see that the degree of this polynomial is bigger than the degree of this polynomial. So we use this line to subtract this line. And we use 1 to multiply this. So we get, so we get 1, 1, negative 5, and 3. And we use this line to subtract this line. 1 minus 1, we get 0. 3 minus 1, 2. 0 minus negative 5, we get 5. Negative 1 minus 3, we get ne negative 4. And negative 3 minus nothing, we get negative 3. And now we can see that the degree of this polynomial is same as the degree of this polynomial. Then I will compare their coefficient. This is 2 and this is 1. Since 2 bigger than 1, so I will use this polynomial to subtract this polynomial. So I will use two, use two to multiply this polynomial, and we get two, two minus ten and six. And I use this line to subtract this line. We get two minus two equal to zero. Five minus two equal to three. And negative four minus negative ten, I get six. Negative three minus six, I get negative nine. Now I can see that these three integers has, have the GCD which is 3. So I would like to divide these three integers by 3. We divide it by 3 and we get 1, 2 and negative 3. Now I have to check the degree of polynomial. Since the degree, since the degree of this polynomial is greater than the degree of this polynomial, so I have to use this polynomial to subtract this polynomial. And I will get 0, minus 1, and minus 2, and 3. And now we can see that the coefficient, the first num the first number is negative. I would like to change it into positive. And I will divide it by negative 1 and I will get 1, 2 and minus 3. We can see that these two polynomials are the same and we can use this to minus this polynomial. And what we get is 0. After we get 0, we can say that the greatest common divisor of these two polynomials which has the coefficient of this, these three numbers. And minus 3 is the coefficient of x to the power of 0. And 2 is the coefficient of x. And 1 is the coefficient of x squared. So, the greatest common divisor of these two polynomials will equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. 
By comparing these two methods, we can see that the coefficient of this method will equal to the number of these. Now we can see that 1, 1, negative 5 and 3. 1, 1, negative 5 and 3. 2, 5, negative 4 and negative 3. 2, 5, negative 4 and negative 3. 2, 2, minus 10 and 6. 2, 2, minus 10 and 6. 3, 6 and minus 9. 3, 6 is minus 9. 1, 2 and minus 3. 1, 2 and minus 3. Let's com Let's compare the coefficient of the second long division. This is 1, 2 and minus 3. 1, 2 and minus 3. Minus 1, minus 2 and 3. Minus 1, minus 2 and 3. And finally, we can see that the answer of these two methods will be the same.